Bio6 Xavier and welcome to a very difficult mission. Our position is masked. We need to get in there, destroy that relay to counter an unknown dark event. It's 48 HP. This is a light enemy force. That's 15 enemies, potentially. 13 at the minimum, at the very least. And I have six soldiers, most of which don't even have real guns. We have basic SMG, basic SMG, uh, one mag rifle, stutter mag, basic SMG, a basic SMG. Uh, so that's the plan. We get in, we shoot the right, or the 48 HP relay with basic SMGs. Well, 15 enemies shoot us in the head. And somehow we win. So uh, with that being the case, I guess I'm just going to move up. Let's grab server catch. He's in the front. Great. We'll just go. I think I want to get in this roof. We'll go straight up until we... You know what? Let's just go straight up to the, the corner here. Oh, 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 oh my God. <laughs> well, that was super, super, super scary. I really did not anticipate there being that many things there. Holy mother of heavenly hash browns. Okay. That was almost a disaster. Let's move on with Freytag and Command Server Cat to get the hell out of Dodge, as they say. That is definitely not what I want to be doing. I have learned with these missions. Wow, that is absolutely, I did not anticipate that in the slightest. Well, now we know there's a Muton. There was some, I think two other M2s with it, and there's also a drone there. That's four things out of 15. I think what I'm going to do is just go loud. If I can kill everything on the map, great, but really sneaking around to a point where everything's on top of me and then activate it in 15 enemies, at the same time, is going to be a lot worse. Let's get Makarov up as far as possible. And when I say a lot worse, I mean I could probably potentially squad wipe if I try to sneak my way to the relay, which is a valid strat. Sometimes, you know, I could bring three people in this mission, sneak there with, like, some running gun, rapid fighter, shotgun type people, and just blow it up in, like, two shots. Especially with a commando. Oh, here's another drone. Yeah. Oh, no! That's wonderful. So Server Cat got within one tile of a drone in one direction, didn't get spotted, commanded her, and she got spotted by one tile in another direction. Okay. I, you know what? This mission I might have to abort. And I'm perfectly fine with that if that's the case. Here comes another solo drone. Wow. That's incredible. Interesting. Well, it's possible if there were 13 enemies and these are three solo drones, there's only 10 remaining. I mean, it's not, you know, exactly likely or anything, but it's definitely possible. All right, Macronova, you have a 79, a 54, and a 54. Freytag can easily pop some of these drones. We can stasis them, no problem. Uh, we can only really kill them, though, with Freytag. Or Fatterday, rather. Fatterday has a 63, 78, and 90. Let's have Fatterday go very loud on this one, lay into it. Okay. That didn't, do much. didn't quite work. I'm, I could go up here, but I'm worried. Did those guys leave? It actually looks like they did just from, like, inadvertent tile scanning. So my thoughts here are, what if I were to kill this thing, get implacable, move up, kill the other one, etc. Wait, what happened to Macronova's AP ammo? Did I take it off for some reason? Five, six, seven. There's almost no chance he's going to pull that off then. Because uh, What? Fatterday hit for one damage? One? Gray is banned, value 10. Right. Okay, well, that explains what happens. Um, this is, like, super duper annoying. <laughs> and none of my psyops can do anything against drones, either. <laughs> like, absolutely nothing. Uh, nobody can do anything against drones. We could stasis them if we need to, but I probably want to save it. Bakes, you really can't do anything against anything right now? So, 74% Bakes. Okay. I got nothing. Well, that this is, you know what, you know what, you know what, I'm just going to get out of here. Like, I'm just going to plan on leaving. This is, like, really stupid. I can't even fight three drones. Set for cat, 80%. Yay! We get for two. That makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. And this is why Graze is the dumbest mechanic in the history of the universe. Because you can literally have a basic SMG hit for more damage than a mag rifle. A mag rifle. That's insanity. Absolute insanity. That's like plus three weapon tiers, effectively, if you count the SMG. In any event, Macronova, 79%, 89 with Grace. Oh, you've... Oh, my. Uh, uh. I can already tell you this mission's going to be super fun. I am definitely looking forward to playing it. Like, just a lot. I really want to play this mission. Uh...
All right, Freytag, please come back now. Make sure you have line of sight on that drone. I'm going to have to blow a combat protocol to take it down. <laughs> Uh, okay, seven to eight damage, boom, it's gone. That's, I think the other one cannot actually get up and stun anyone if I move Macronova back, so we don't have to worry about it too much. Let's indeed move Macronova back to that location with Server Cat, and let's have Paul 54%. Oh, for a grace. Nope, Paul hits it right on target. It's for one. Awesome. And the drone is going to run to the other pod that we already know is over there. I hear that Muton still on the right. Sounded like another Muton to the left. And the combat music goes dark, which is very scary, especially because I don't have any shinobis right now. That was the worst possible way to activate. I can't. <laughs> um, all right, let's... Uh, let's think. They must have heard me fire. They're probably behind this wall. There is a window there. We're probably safe to move up to at least here. See if that's true. Answer, yes. Okay, but combat music starts playing again for no reason. Everybody move up. This is probably fine. All things considered. And then you know what? Let's just quick end turn and wait till something happens. Oh, I see three guys back there at the relay. Interesting. So best case scenario, that's nine out of 13. There's a pot of four more. Nothing's really happening here and this concerns me greatly. I don't know what to do about it, though. Let's move Paul up to this, uh, whatever this is, couch or something in the middle of the street. Nothing. Let's move... Well, that's pretty dangerous, moving Bakes into the middle of the open here. I think the smarter plan... Let's move Bakes up to that corner. Let's move Server Cat up a little bit. Let's get uh, Federate Tag over here. Hey, Federate had a tower hack. Let's check what it is. Integrated comms, squad position. Wait, that's the one that gives you vision, right? All right, maybe I'll go for that next turn with with uh, Freytag. Stuff right in front of me. Not sure if that's the original Muton. Oh, here they come. It looks like Sentry Trooper, Muton Centurion Drone. Four enemies to go for it, friends. Freytag swinging a, I think, hit for one. Fantastic. Graze, awesome. Great, great mechanic. That was fun hitting for one. This, this reminds me of a similar scenario once, where I had Macronova and there was a Dufon right here and I ran in and I was like, Greetings, Dufon! Hello! How are you? I am not Dufon, or something like that. I can't remember exactly how it went, but it was something like that. You know, Bakes could come in here in this exact tile and burn all of them. This is probably a good opportunity to do that. Let's get him right in, see if we activate more. I can't... Holy! Okay. I was about to say, I couldn't imagine us actually activating more through that window, but wouldn't you know, we did exactly that, and that's a hunter drone. So let me think for a second. One, two, three, plus the three drones, that's six, plus these two, seven, eight, plus those three, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen. It's possible there's just a pot of two, or another pot, a pot of two, three, or four. Huh. Fascinating. All right, Bakes, from where you are, can you do... Oh, it looks like the mod changed here. Because uh, preview line of sight, I used to put it at the very end, and it's now gone to the very first. I must have had an update, which is unfortunate, because I have a, I put a manual... F I edited, edited it manually. What the hell is this? I can hit the Muton's tile, but not him. Oh, that's just weird. Uh, this is just the weirdest thing. All right, so I can hit both of them and both their tiles. There, nope. Is there, is there one pixel where I can hit the Muton's tile and the guy in the back tile? And I'm pretty sure, pretty sure, no, I'm pretty 100% sure about this. But there's been, every time I've done something, literally every time I've done something, there's, someone's mentioned something in the comments like, oh, you could have done it somewhere, or look at this screenshot. Literally every single time. Okay, scan, scan with my eyes, good eyes, look for it, look for it, it's got to be here. You guys are having fun, right? Like, everybody enjoys watching this sorts of nonsense. I enjoy playing it, too. I'm glad they enabled tile scanning in the game as a thing, like a pixel hunting. It's just a lot of fun as a player to do this. Especially fun as a person on YouTube who gets it pointed out to them that they didn't even notice they could have done it right. Every single... Okay, this is too boring. Can't handle it anymore. You know what? Both these guys, both their tiles. We'll leave the doof on alone. Macronova can clean him up. Boom, hit for five, hit for four, guy in the back's burning. Good job, Bakes. How about the sentry? Nope, he's not burning. That's a little bit of an issue, but I think we'll be all right. Now then, we know we need to deal with the Doofon with Macronova, so let's get right in there, right in his face. Hey, Doofon, sup, friend? Uh, our name is Macronova, and also there's this thing we like to call... Both. 
God, Dufons are no match for Macronova. <laughs> Look at that. Joyous, joyous times. Now then. I have a Freytag. There is a Hunter drone back here. Uh, or Federated, rather. I probably need to pop one of these drones. And that's going to mean that I either aid protocol. I guess I could have used get some there, but I'm not sure it would have been a smart idea. Not everything's going to be controlled this turn. I can stasis the drone and mine merge someone if I wanted to. And what I actually want to do is stasis the officer more than anything. I, I, need, I also need to come in here and kill this drone and kill that sentry. I suppose I could command Macronova to kill the sentry. No, I can't really do that because I need to pop the, the drone somehow. Well... We're in a really bad position here all around for everything that I want to do. Let's do this. Let's grab Faraday. Let's move into this high cover spot right there. Sure then we'll go on Overwatch. And we're gonna... Okay, that's... I gotta really fix that after this because that's gonna be super annoying. I, I want I want that to be at the end of the list so I can go hit number two for Overwatch. Uh, now, let's move Macronova. Actually, over here where he's flanking... No, let's actually move him here where he's flanking the sentry forcing the sentry to move, and then Faraday will hopefully shut him down. I don't think the drone is going to be shut down, though. So I think the only option there is to pop that with Freytag, or since the Hunter drone's going to be a huge issue, he can pop that one instead, and maybe we can come in here and stasis this little mini drone? That sounds like a good idea. Let's do that. I don't want those drones stunning me. The officers will probably throw a grenade if they can. Now that I just moved there, I realize they're going to grenade us, and that's going to be awful. So let's let the drone attack us. Let's stasis the officer so we don't have a grenade in our face in just a second. Pew. Uh, and then I think we're going to use Freytag. To... I'm not sure yet. I kind of want to lay into that big drone in the back, but I could just destroy the little drone now. And then the little the, the big drone couldn't really do anything. That's probably a smarter idea. Let's fall back here with Fall. We'll see all these guys inside. None of them are really going to be very useful for us. Why don't we soul fire the sentry? Uh, and, you know, maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get a max roll. It is Paul, after all. Then we don't have to worry about Saturday's Overwatch. Nope, he almost max rolls, but hey, five damage, good enough. What could that guy do that's very bad? We're all in high cover. Everything's fine. I don't even feel like I need to use aid protocol. I think what I'm going to do here with Freytag is, is just use the combat protocol. And do I want to do it on the drone inside? Yes, I do. Bam, he's gone. All of these things are mostly controlled now, except for the sentry with 1 HP and the hunter drone on side. I don't know how I'm going to deal with that hunter drone. Maybe I can just, like, uh... I think I have red screen rounds on Fatter Day. So if we get very lucky here and that drone comes inside and we, and we apply the red screen rounds, we can probably shut it down or something with Trojan. Here it comes. It's probably not going to pull the over. Oh, it, well, how, did, how did it manage to get that far? Bakes, do a battle roll. Nice. Bakes does do a battle roll. Saturday, M2 officer. I mean, trooper on the move. Can't see what happened. Also, that did work. He shut down the sentry who also went on the move. Looks like he grazed the, off, uh, the trooper who went out back. I need to remember that. I probably won't. He'll probably burn to death, though, either way. Now then, officer came back up. Here comes the reinforcements already. Almost no chance I'm going to get over there or kill everything on the map, kill the reinforcements, or kill all the stuff, etc., etc. What's our chance to shut this thing down? A hundred percent. Okay, then. Well, let's do that. Let's just straight up 100% shut it down. We have Trojan. That'll deal a decent amount of damage to it. Although, technically speaking, Trojan will deal more damage if it has a lower score. So it might make sense to shoot it with Faraday if I'm going to shoot it. But how am I going to deal with that officer? Well, we have lots of options here. Let's go Insanity, 70% on the officer with uh, Server Cat. Oh, that's one way. Yep, officer down. And then I guess we'll just pop a Soul Fire on it for good measure, 4 to 6, because what else are we going to do? Awesome. Okay, so in this case, I do feel like the smart move is have Fatter Day. You know what? I actually feel like moving Paul is the smart move this time around. Let's get him right up here next to that drone. That way I can get Fatter Day upstairs to overwatch for the reinforcements that are incoming. 
Bakes can probably just shoot this thing right in the face. He can't really do anything else anyway. 59%, go for it. Okay, hit for one. Paul, can you do anything to that? Probably not. I'm going to guess just shoot 53%. Sure, go for it. Okay. I mean, I know, it is right in front of you. Pretty hard shot there for sure. Macronova, you know what? We're going to ignore the guy outside. I think we're just going to bring Macronova out here basically into the open. Or are we going to do that? Probably not. Let's do this instead. Let's shut down this thing. I think I won't use uh, F Faraday after all for the red screen. Wow. Good thing we didn't need a way to Anthony better because that would not have worked. See you, little guy. I'll shoot you in the ground for a couple turns and we'll see what happens. I'm pretty sure that reinforcements are going to overwhelm me here. So I know there's a guy out here. I just don't want to activate him, but it looks like I can move back here. He's right there. This will prevent us from activating most of the map. Very good. Just in case he wasn't going to burn to death. Makarnova, 89, 99 with Graze. A see you, friend. You are no more. And now we can implacable ourselves all the way back there to set up for that drone next turn. Where did his AP ammo go? He really needs it. And then Faraday at long last. Can I think just go on Overwatch? with his two shots against the incoming reinforcements, but should be dropping right on our head. Yes, indeed. Muton, Centurion, and an M2 mech? What? These reinforcements are crazy. Better day, please. Okay, hit for three. Well, that's something, but that's nowhere near what I want. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. I'm not even sure if I can kill these reinforcements, to be entirely honest. This is a lot of reinforcements right here. Like, a lot. I could get all the way over there with Macronova and blow that Dupon away, but then we still have to deal with this ginormous mech here. So, Faraday, you have one shot remaining, a 28 in the Muton, a 64 in the Drone. You know what? Let's just take that 64. Okay, now it should definitely die via the Trojan in the next turn. I guess I also could have... No, I, I just, Haywire actually has the cool... Well, it should have had the cooldown, but I think I cancelled it, so I definitely shouldn't use it right now unless I want to be a cheater cheaterson. Which I would prefer not to be. I can't do anything against this mech with anybody. So let's just shoot it. 65% so with Server Cat to break the Overwatch. Awesome. The armor. Running dry. How the heck am I going to deal with this? Okay, why don't I try 43% insanity? Right. I'm just going to try it. I'm, I'm just going to stand here. I might be overwhelmed by... Whoop, well, that missed. I might legitimately be overwhelmed by just straight-up reinforcements here. Macronova can definitely move up to the mech and shoot it, but what good is that going to do? It's not going to do any good. Let's move up here with Bakes. I don't think I can even kill this mech. Well, let's try to lock down this Muton Centurion with a flamethrower just like such. Please burn. A burn. Burn. No. But it looks like maybe his tile's on fire. It's impossible to know for real. But since he's flanked, he's probably going to stand there and shoot anyway and kill somebody, so that doesn't help us in the slightest. Yeah, I can't even deal with the reinforcements. Never mind the rest of the map. I can't even deal with the reinforcements. How? What the hell kind of reinforcement pod is this, though? It's like, hey, here's like 40 HP worth of stuff. Enjoy! Uh, right. I guess I need coil weapon before I can even start playing the game. Can we kill this mech? I don't think we can. There is something we can do, though. Um, think, think, think. We probably can't kill the, the Muton. But what we can do is mind merge Macronova and have him tank like a champ, even though we're all standing in the open. Okay, so this is how we do it. Apal, toss up, mind merge on Macronova, give him a whole bunch of ablative. God, he has soul merge as well. Look at that. Eight ablative. That's amazing. Okay, now, Macronova, move back here, right next to the Dufon. Fantastic. Get right in his face. And let's pop a fortify before we do anything. And then, I'll blow this Dufon away. 100% to hit, 100% to crit. See ya, Dufon! Holy freaking colors, though. What the hell kind of camera work is that? God damn it, Jake. Like, put the camera in a place where we can see it. Like, he's like, hey, guys, who wants to see a barrel? Do you want to see a barrel? Look, it's a barrel. 
I show you a barrel from inside the barrel. I can even see, there we go, perfect. Like, I could be the guy who makes the camera work on XCOM 3. Seriously, look at this. Like, I will show you barrels for serious, just like this. Great angle. Uh, now, let's get Macronova back to right in the face of this mech. With Fortify up, I want the mech to be like, oh, there's a Macronova. Let's shoot the Macronova. That's smart. Um, will the mech do that, though? I don't know. I definitely don't want to avoid the mech shooting Freytag, if nothing else. Why don't we move Freytag up and far away over here? We could command Macronova. He doesn't have AP ammo anymore, though, so there's not really a huge amount of reason to do that. Uh... Honestly... Like, it's not gonna make any difference. Let's just shoot the mech with Freytag. 82%. Go for it! All right, we hit for one. Officer's panic is removed. Mech gets destroyed by Trojan. We haven't got a single piece of loot in this mission yet either. And the mech is gonna run for it and then shoot a missile at Paul and Macronova. And that only hits, or not Paul, uh, Bakes rather, and Macronova. It hits Bakes' is three HP of ablative, but that's it. That's all that did. It didn't blow up the car. It didn't even start the car blowing up. Interesting. God, I wish I had AP ammo on Macronova. Why don't I is the better question. I hear something. You guys hear that? It's like corpses are jiggling or something. Let's pop a reload here with Fatter Day. What can we do against this mech? Okay, an M2 mech is really the bane of PsyOps. Like... It's just the bane of PsyOps. Server cat, can you mind control 71% that officer, maybe? If nothing else, cancel the Overwatch with a flashbang. And you can't even do that. Alright, fine, let's just toss a soul fire up on it. I think you're melting. Nope. No, he's really not melting. Maybe next uh, mission. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I have no ability to chew through this thing except for Fatter Day, and he's more of an Overwatch spec. Could I use him to shut it down? It doesn't really matter. He doesn't have Trojan. And no, he can't really do it anyway. All right, well, let's do this. So, Faraday, shoot the mech. 76%. We have no shred. I could throw a grenade on somebody. I could I could cheat and just haywire again when I shouldn't be able to, but I don't want to do that. I should have not canceled it so the cooldown doesn't go away. I think I want to just have Macronova. Oh, God. 54%, though. That is horrendous. If Macronova doesn't hit it... You guys hear that? It's like a sectoid's doing a tap dance or something. I swear I'm not making it up. I can hear it behind all the music. Hey, you know what? Let me just quickly... Edit options. Where is it? Master volume, music vo I'm not going to remember where it is, and I have it perfectly set for recording, so I don't want to screw with it. Hmm. Very, very weird scenario this is. We only hit for 5 to 8. We have a 54. If we stand here, we're probably not going to kill it. If I move, though, we might what kill it. Let's get right in its face with Macronova. We'll give up our light -em up We'll shoot it 84% now, 94 with Graze. Please no Graze, though, Macronova. Oh, nice. Critical hit for 7. That's what we needed as 1 HP remaining. That means Bakes. Can you finish this off? 64%. Nowhere near good enough. Let's get right next to it. Want like 100%. And finish it down 89%. Well, Macronova just carried us right there with that critical hit. Now, how are we going to deal with the officer? We can come down here, get line of sight with Paul. A soul fire for the third time. Boom. Hey, how long is this mind merge going to last here on Macronova? Nice. Max roll. Paul, six damage. And this leaves us just a fray tag, who realistically has no good options here, and I don't want to blow another command, so why don't we just move, like, over here, and overwatch, and we'll hopefully weather whatever the officer decides to do. Oh, here comes a snake and two more mutants. How many enemies have I fought so far? Luckily, I have tactical kill counter or something or other. Oh, Freytag swinging a hit. Nice. Shut down. One damage. Shut down that thing's yellow alert action. Oh, great thing, though. We're standing in the open. Macronova. Nice. Barrel roll. 14%. Uh, how did that happen? Officer's going to mark Server Cat and shoot Server Cat in the high... Nope. Yes. 
Yeah, 17% miss. Okay, that was kind of scary. More reinforcements incoming. Yeah, this mission's not... There's no chance of this mission working out for me. It's not happening. Not in the slightest. Makanova can reload, though. How far up can we get with Bakes? You know what? We can get far enough to rouse them both. So let's do this. Fatter day. From where you are, you're good. Let's toss a aid protocol up on Macronova. And then toss up an overwatch on yourself. God, I might actually have to leave. Like, I, I, I doubt I can even kill these three reinforcements. They're going to be that serious of a, of a deal. So with that overwatch, Bakes, would you be so kind as to rouse these clowns? Rouse them right out of there. Right on out. Also deal some damage, made him, maybe light him on fire, great. Hit Snake for two, hit Muton for one, that couldn't really be any worse. Light neither of them on fire, and neither of their tiles on fire. Awesome, and then we also lose our flank. Here we, we didn't get a shot because that snake has a shadow step, and Fatterday misses his shot on the Muton. Wow. That was like literally worst, worst play in the universe right there. That couldn't have been any worse, except for if it could have been. But I have a plan to make up for it, and the plan is as such. Afraytech, come back here. Not a Let's toss up a command now on Bakes. We're going to do this the, the old tried and true method. We're going to use ultimate cover destruction on a unit that can barely move to blow up a cover. Let's pop the fortify because I'm getting very scared. We're almost certainly leaving. This mission is a failure for sure. Let's toss a rocket like somewhere in this general vicinity. I know it's not going to hit directly. I don't care. I just want it to hit the car. Something like that. Great, sure. Hit anywhere near the car and blow it up. Yeah! Bakes hit for four, hit for six! Bam! Snake down! And then Muton hit for even more. He's only got two HP now. God, that was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Hold on, that Muton's kind of standing in the open like a doofus. Can I do something about that? I could insanity him, 16%. It's actually 75, 73. Let's go for it, Paul. Insanity. And reality is indeed fleeting. Damn it, what is with the insanity misses? All right, fine, let's do this. A flash bang, okay, I guess. I can do it. Can I also hit the officer? Under no circumstance. No, Muton's not gonna be dealt with, but he's at least gonna be not able to throw a grenade. Uh, who's left now? We have Server Cat and we have Macronova. So, Server Cat. My thoughts here are, we will stasis the officer unless we can roll a lucky insanity. We do have 89% though, or 87, whatever it was, because it went up because of red fog. Get mind control? Nope, panic. Okay, that's not bad. This allows us to get in position to set up for next turn. So let's come over here then with server cat. I know, right? So boring. Macronova, move on up here right next to this Dufon. Be like, hey, Dufon, my name's back. I don't have 84%. That would suck if he missed, though. Also, we grabbed an elite expanded magazine, so I guess we got something out of this horrendous mission. I don't have any more point blank, so yeah, can't really deal with that muton. Come back, we go. So 11 enemies out of up to 15 so far, and that's the end of the turn. There's a whole nother pod. Actually, no, there's three more pods out there. That's 14 enemies on the map. I mean, three more guys. I saw them a long time ago on the, on the drop point. Here it comes, probably more than I can deal with. Yep, another M2 mech. Hmm. Also, no, I think that was this mech. Wow, that is a big mech, though. Oh, Faraday, you have elevation and you miss? 75%? How? How is this possible? Okay. So, from this scenario, I'm thinking all that really matters is that we leave, because the reinforcements are coming in so fast, there's no chance of me- look at that, I can even see the last three guys. And there's no chance of me coming all the way over here, killing these three guys, killing the 48 HP relay. The, re the reinforcements are just overwhelming. I cannot- cannot deal with them. Maybe we could pick up a couple pieces of loot right now. Uh, if we wanted to try to kill this Muton, but I'm not even sure that's going to be possible. One thing I think I do want to do is use Interference here with Freytag. First time that's actually going to be really useful, because I have no one here who can cancel it otherwise, without running it through some sort of contrived method. And... Any way to do this? Nah. I, there's, there's, we're surrounded by stuff. Too much HP, it's dropping too fast, the squad is not skilled enough. It's a mission failure. Let's get out of here. Let's get out 
know when to fold them and when to hold them, as they say. And now is definitely the time. Is everybody in here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, now is the time to get out. We got one elite expanded magazine, and that is it. But you know, that early activation just ruined it. On these missions, you gotta get right next to the, or close to the relay. I wanted to move up to here and go loud. I didn't really anticipate getting activated by a drone on like turn two, like one step out. But you know, we didn't lose anyone anyway. Hold on. I might have lost somebody if I recalled the Sky Ranger right there. We're out. A mission, a failure. But no one took a single scratch. So, there's that. Who's Cleo Robert? Oh, that's Server Cat. Advanced officers no longer panic. Okay. Well, Operation Religious Starter, a complete failure. But we did get one elite something or other. So... There's that. We didn't even get close on that mission. And in hindsight, that was a really lame squad. I would have had to get lucky to some extent to pull that off. And that would have been possible if I could have moved up, like, mind-controlled something with one of the insanities that were pretty high, and then, like, control the drone with a haywire, etc., etc. But having all three drones activate on turn one, where we have to kill them, and then stand there, not being able to use them, and then having that giant Centurion M2 mech on the reinforcements. Good lord, that was a... That pod alone pretty much sealed my fate, even though it was a pod of two. Oh well, sometimes you win, and sometimes you don't. I guess. I mean, that's what people tell me, since I basically just win all the time. I don't know. Well, it looks like Paul has a promotion. I guess. <laughs> so we got something out of it. <laughs> uh, Key All Star MVP player, Macronova, for actually doing something unlike everyone else in the squad. Yep, pretty much everyone did nothing. That was kind of awful. Hey, we got this, though. That's not bad for a gunner. We do have a lot of gunners. Uh, next up, I believe. Supply drop available. Uh, what is this? Dark event. Rural checkpoints. All right, so the thing we were countering was not, uh, what was it called? The uh, avatar thingy. So this isn't that bad. We just get less supply. Who cares? Maybe they'll stop whining about it so much. How long do I have? There was something down here. Okay, the uh, data leak in one day, seven hours. I also wanted to do this, but there's no sense in queuing this up because I need to wait to that data leak to do this mission. So... Where do I want to scan? We're doing Liberation 3 here. East Africa has Strength 3. West Asia. West Asia has Liberation 2 done. Let's go there. For the West Asian corridor. And attempt to uncover... Or was I scanning in New Indonesia still? I might have been doing that, looking for like another supply raid or something. That's not a bad idea. Let's go scan in New Indonesia instead. I'm not, I'm not so concerned with like another Liberation up here. Maybe I'll get like a troop column or supply raid. And surprisingly, the strength hasn't gone up. Hexagon has recovered from runes. Taha Kamiri recruited to Haven in Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe. I guess you can... Well, there's no real point to go on supply, but there's also no real point to do anything else either. I suppose I can go intel. I mean, I would not mind doing an intel raid there. That would be perfectly fine by me. How long till this mission's done? We have three hours and there's going to be a data leak. Bam, there it is. This is a Haven defense. Defend a resistance Haven. Is this the one with the crazy amounts of stuff that comes down constantly? I think that's fixed now. It should be fixed for me. So let's do this. We need to see how long till this mission is runnable. Very light. 87... 92% is when it, when it goes up. So let's scan for that long. Wow, I went right by it. 95%. And there we go. Actually extremely light already. Okay, perfect. I think what we're going to do is go run that mission, then we're going to immediately grab Freytag, we'll go and redeploy on this um, regular Haven defense here, and we'll bring... Who, who, who does we need to bring? I think everyone from the last mission needed a promotion. That's why they were going on that. I, we'll bring Mr. K as well. It'll be pretty efficient all in all, I think. But uh, yeah, once we're returning, extremely light jailbreak for four rebels, which is amazing. Sam Cocking and Book of Eons, but it's only a four-man squad, including a squaddy Mr. K. Is this Mr. K's debut? I think it might be. 
That'll look, that'll be pretty fun. I'm looking forward to that. But that'll have to be for tomorrow. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Now then, we know we need to deal with the Doofon with Macronova, so let's get right in there, right in his face. Hey, Doofon, sup, friend? Uh, our name is Macronova, and also there's this thing we like to call... Both. Barrels. God, Doofons are no match for Macronova. Ha! <laughs>